Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, Tony here, with another tarot card reading for you today. We just finished doing an interesting reading for the collective. There we go. We got bugs <laughs> coming into the reading. I actually just saw a bumblebee. I rarely see a bumblebee uh, in this area. So, um, channel message, you attract more bees with honey. I'm feeling very comfortable. My energy is pretty good, pretty high today. So, again, uh, animals uh, can sense energy, even people. When people see or uh, can sense that you're very abundant, um, yeah, people get extremely attracted to you. Confidence, uh, that sort of thing, doesn't necessarily take monies or all these different uh, costumes that people like to put on. Uh, people value authentic things. Why do you think people are so attached to celebrities? It's not really the glitz, the glamour, the lights, the shine, the Gucci, the Prada, all these diamonds and things like that these people bear their soul to you they tell their life stories through their music or through their art we've had painters that have painted murals with their blood we've had people that have started businesses like a louis vuitton he literally as a 14 year old child had to walk across france to get to paris as a 14 year old child it took him two years in order to start his business now i'm not vouching for louis vuitton or anything like that um and i do perceive ideologies um past cultures past the color of the skin you know i've evolved past that type of thing i'm very aware of what's going on in the society today um but i've never uh stopped things like race religion um monetary status these types of things hold me back from uh collecting a, so a solid group of friends and family and even ideals You'd be surprised how much you can learn from people that's different from you or even opposite from you all right so what we're doing today is just pulling a couple messages nothing in particular no particular zodiac sign so if you're here welcome like share subscribe add value to the channel drop your big three down at the bottom sun moon rising venus sign if you like as well i'm a <laughs> venus and scorpio so hey you know how that goes uh i am very intuitive uh i like to know things and learn things a lot um i'm into a, occultism that sort of thing and obviously i exude a lot of sexual energy and i'm attracted to very unique individuals um that's just my divine nature man uh libra ruled by the empress so divine feminine energy through and through uh, but I'm very aware of my masculine nature. Born a man, born a male, and glad to be one. <laughs> I just get a little fancy sometimes, man. Ask my mama. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into it. Uh, let's try a break deck message first and see what uh, the universe has to say. What energies are currently surrounding you? What's coming towards you? What's the advice? What's the inspiration? What's the entertainment today for the collective? Break that message. Look at that. We have the Hierophant, an anointed individual with a divine masculine and a divine feminine down at the bottom. This could be marriage coming towards you, a very abundant relationship. And then we also have the King of Pentacles, a father figure, a boss, a leader, someone that's very grounded, could have established some type of business. Again, this is marriage. These are two marriage cards. These are two very highly anointed cards here. We're dealing with a preacher or a pastor or someone that has uh, learned very valuable lessons. It's number five in the major arcana. We know fives are about difficulty, conflicts, and change. How do you um, attain abundance or how do you learn more about yourself? Through putting yourself through challenges, through putting yourself through difficulties and learning. That's what school is for. They teach you in school and then how do you know what you really learn? You're, you're put through a test or a, a difficult mental situation here. So a higher font, an anointing, a higher calling. Your counterpart, uh, your divine counterpart is coming towards you as well, or they're wanting to come towards you. Your divine counterpart can't come towards you until you come into union with yourself and realize who you really are at the end of the day. We focus so much on relationships. We want other people to make us happy. What about making other people happy for a change? I just got through talking about this over Valentine's Day. People will say things, mainly women who uh, vouch for love, something that can't even be seen, but I'm not going to say that it's fake. They say, if he loved me or if you love me, you would do this. Imagine if a man said that to you. 
But regardless, how can you expect love from someone if you don't even love yourself? How can you attempt to get out and learn and teach people if you have no life experience yourself? Hierophant energy. And then, of course, the king of pentacles, the father figure, the boss, the uh, CEO. This is uh, earth sign energy here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be one of those signs watching this reading. Again, drop your big three down in the comments. Uh, but this is... Um, sort of like um, I'm getting okay so what I'm channeling is rules I'm getting balance I'm definitely getting structure I'm getting maintenance as well uh, but this is children this is uh, marriage uh, I'm getting a head of the household a community uh, this could be a new job coming towards you as well some type of new abundance you could even be some type of content creator an entrepreneur that's the new wave um, coming into the age of Aquarius so yeah you have a higher calling here based on the break deck message all right let's shuffle again let's see what's grounding the reading and then we'll get to pulling some tarot cards so hopefully you're enjoying the reading today hopefully you are um, yeah just having an overall abundant day man I try to bring some tarot readings uh, to the channel I realize it's therapeutic for some people. Some people just like to put on YouTube or put on their headphones and listen to music. Some people just like to listen to motivational speeches. Some people need therapy. Some people can't afford it. Um, so, you know, started my spiritual business a little over a year ago. It uh, turned one years old in January. So, hey, why not put some, um, you know, and some people are even afraid to go to a therapist. So why not turn on one of your favorite content creators and have them give you a therapeutic uh, session through the tarot, through cardomancy, through divination. You know, people go to church for it. And believe it or not, what's the difference between a witch and a pastor? They both do the same thing. They both practice esoteric knowledge. Me, myself, I would consider myself, um, people would say a witch, but I consider myself a naturalist, an occultist, someone that delves deep into knowledge hidden religions, I follow my intuition, sort of like an Aleister Crowley type of individual. We have the Oscar Wildes of the past. We have the HP Lovecrafts. We have the Nikola Teslas. We have all types of uh, great people from the past. Um, the um, Muhammads, you know, these religious figures of uh, old. We have the uh, Mansa Musas, uh, the most, some of the most talented, and abundant individuals of uh, in history, the um, the Shaka Khans, the Genghis Khans, great leaders and great conquerors of their time. So, what do we have uh, grounding you today? We have the Six of Swords. So, this could be traveling. You could be traveling to spread knowledge here. Typically, leaving behind a stressful situation mentally, a um. I'm getting a lot of thoughts here. So, I mean, someone could be reading from notes or note taking or something like that. This could be someone delivering a speech. I'm getting, okay, so what I'm channeling actually is a Leah four page letter. Now, a Leah was somewhat of a divine feminine. Mm -hmm. She just wasn't able to come into her full potential. She was into art, uh, music. She was, she even got into acting at some point. So a celebrity figure, very highly anointed. Sometimes God takes away his most precious angels ahead of time. Me, myself, uh, I was always a, br a bright, very intelligent, different in the, uh, different type of uh, child. And I almost died right before my 18th birthday. I needed an organ transplant. Now, we all know that there's millionaires and billionaires that die on waiting lists trying to get an organ. So for me to be blessed or to be anointed, uh, I'm literally a walking miracle. <laughs> So, um, you know, again, guys, God takes some of his favorite angels away from this planet because he doesn't want them to be tortured. But some of us have a higher calling. We're placed here for a particular reason. If it's to go through stress, it's to show the power of the human spirit. If it's to be anointed and highly favored, it's for people to uh, realize how, um, how we perceive ourselves and how other people perceive us as a sort of a celebrity or how we can um, bump shoulders, birds with a feather flock together, how we can influence people as stars, as star seeds, as uh, 
walking gods and goddesses uh, ourselves here. So again, this could be traveling. You going from place to place, uh, giving speeches here with it being swords. Walking away from difficult situations in the past, a lot of things that you had to learn, a lot of lessons. We got this one mosquito that's like biting the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, roll up the sleeves a little bit. It's probably going to want them to want want them to eat me more, right? Got mosquitoes flying around with this goddess energy in them. <laughs> Let's see. All right, we have Six of Pentacles. So you could be some type of traveling merchant here. You could be some type of, um, yeah, again, some type of traveling motivational speaker. You have Six Six here. This is traveling and then this is merchant. This is reciprocation. This is equal give and take. This is balance. This is um, partnerships. This is business. Could even be some type of um, love relationship or just people are attracted to you. They're willing to pay to be in your presence. Again, typical celebrity things. People are willing to go to a supermarket to pay for the things that they want. So don't feel bad when people come towards you to offer you um, some sort of charity. Cash apps, donations, whatever it may be. PayPal, a check. Maybe even some type of... Um, if you're working somewhere, someone wants to offer you a higher position here. They see that you've been working. You've been working with your head down and your back turned. And they're wanting to gift you with something here. Maybe a bonus or something like that. We'll see what other energies are surrounding you and coming towards you here. Yeah, there's a slow offer coming in here. But it's stable. It's uh, bound to come in. One of the slowest moving nights of the deck because it's earth energy. But we have a knight coming in here. Fully protected. Fully invested. Uh, they could be watching you through social medias or some type of mobile device. But they're coming in here with an offer. Not sure if it's an offer of love yet, but it seems that there's some type of abundance headed your way. Could be a payment. Empress energy. Look at that. So again, uh, this is seen as my Libra card here, uh, the Six of Pentacles. But the, the Divine uh, Feminine, or the Empress, who is the Divine Feminine, is a representative of both Taurus and Libra energy. So we could have, with this being a uh, Knight of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy, very invested in their finances, their business, their details, their surroundings, their comfortability here. The Empress is very comfortable. She's very abundant. She's very pregnant with ideas. A uh, very stable individual here. So someone's coming towards you with a stable offer. You could be coming into union with your divine counterpart, or you could be um, looked as, as a celebrity figure here. People are coming towards you uh, with creative ideas or some sort of a payment here. King of Swords. Yeah, some type of motivational speaker, some type of thought provoker, uh, someone that helps uh, bend the rules or helps people understand the rules is what I'm going to say. Um, not necessarily a lawbreaker, but they get into the details of things. They notate everything. They could be writing some sort of a book or writing some sort of a script. I'm getting a play as well. Someone could be paying you for a script or a book that you've written. Mm, online communication, World Wide Web. So this could be like Amazon or something like that as well. Or a place that people can buy your books. I'm channeling Barnes and Nobles. Do we still have Barnes and Nobles around? This is also technology as well. Don't forget the mobile device. Someone is coming towards you here. Or someone is viewing you through a mobile peripheral. The internet, World Wide Web, science here. Uh, time ruled by Aquarius, symbolized by the King of Swords. Hmm. Let's see what other energies we have. King of Pentacles. So very abundant energy right after the King of Swords, uh, notating a situation, taking note of a situation, not necessarily having to say much, but peeping game on certain situations and remembering have a. OK, so someone has a very strong memory as well. So, uh, for example, me, I was uh, I'm, I mean, I'm an excellent note taker. 
but in school I didn't like to show my work I just knew the answers I always knew things that I didn't even know or it was just good for me or easy for me to know things I had my hands in all sort of things going out and playing with my friends staying in the house playing video games reading books that sort of things people would say oh whoa, why you have that child in the house playing video games all day what they need to go outside and then you go outside and get into gang activity or get killed by accident as a child while I was in the house playing video games I was learning how to read and write because when you're playing video games you have to learn how to make the right decisions in order to win the game i.e. learn how to count to learn how to read what's on the screen and what's on the TV <laughs> see people don't realize there's unorthodox ways of learning here king of swords bending the rules bending time science uh, being an alchemist research Empress energy sitting pretty you don't have to rush to go and do something <laughs> we have a slow offer coming towards you <laughs> something to be reciprocated something that may even be owed to you as well could be a gift from your ancestors I'm getting as well okay so we're bringing the ancestors in here now what's this in my hand a father a grandfather some type of institution here was created a boss some type of leader CEO uh, yeah, so someone's jumping from the night and jumping to the king of pinnacles. Yeah, so someone's definitely on the way with a lot of abundant energy. Very resourceful here uh, as well. Yeah, they're extremely resourceful. They're carrying both king of swords and king of pinnacles energy. They're able to coerce um, monies and finances from people, although I don't think it's nefarious. I don't think it, that there's evil. Whoop. I don't think that it's evil. This could be writing up some type of business plan or something like that. And then people uh, helping to finance your ideas here. Again, a empress is always very abundant. This is one of the most powerful cards in the tarot deck. We have the empress, the emperor, and the magician. And others uh, that are powerful in their own right. Let's see what else we get here. Two of swords. Hmm. This could be some type of mental, mental boundaries or blockages you set up for yourself. Um, an example, a lot of people are jumping into cryptocurrency. Facebook changed its name to Meta. There are so many people online right now that rather be a surrogate. Uh, they'd rather be a surrogate for themselves. <laughs> you're, you're blessed with this body here. Unlimited potential to do whatever you can out in the world to experience abundance. But you'd rather be locked in some sort of um, some sort of fake universe, aka like uh, the metaverse, uh, virtual reality. Yeah, getting virtual reality here again. Mobile device sitting on some sitting on some type of mobile device. Now that's different than sitting in front of a video game playing video games. When you're actually putting on goggles or jumping into virtual reality, uh, that's a whole different playing field. Yeah, all of these people are sitting down. You have to sit down. <laughs> Some people stand up, I guess. But you sit down and um, you enter a whole new world pretty much. Um, so I'm not going to beat around the bush or I'm not going to uh, beat uh, beat a dead horse with, with negativity. There's some positive things about um, Facebook and Meta. Um, they actually have a cryptocurrency or a crypto coin called Libra ironically six of pentacles libra he's holding the libra scale here so uh, there may be a, a hidden message for someone you may want to invest what now don't be stupid you may not partake in some things although i vouch for things like investing and partaking in things that you actually like if you're wearing nikes invest in nike stock if you're using apple products invest in apple stock so if you're using facebook invest in uh facebook meta or whatever they call themselves you know don't don't take what i'm saying as being like uh you know don't don't take part in these things you know the world will leave you behind even when we die the world keeps going <laughs> an important message for someone that thinks they're going to live forever or is, is always waiting around yeah this offer is coming in slow they're waiting around or they move slow they're very sluggish we have the nine of wands coming up under the knight of pentacles so this could be there's a lot of immaturity here this is a scarred individual they're either very aggressive or very de defensive here 
I'm not sure if they know what they want. I mean, after you go through certain things, I mean, if you have to go through something nine times, I mean, if a cat has to use all nine of their lives, I mean, that cat is being very irresponsible. But we have nine of wands. Again, this could be travel. Travel, traveling toward, towards something that you want and traveling away from things that no longer serve you here is what I'm getting. There's a lot of confidence being exuded as well. We have eight of cups, more traveling. Walking away from emotional mishaps, things that no longer serve you, irresponsible relationships or people. Could even be uh, detoxing, walking away from drinking habits. So we see six of swords sailing away. We do know nine, nine of wands, wands is about travel and movement, moving away or avoiding toxicity here. Avoiding toxicity here. Uh, eight of cups coming right under the empress again the empress has standards and boundaries she doesn't she doesn't just let toxicity or any type of um, malfunctioning service or individual around her she has high standards high fashion <laughs> yeah draped in gold is what I'm getting yeah the empress the king of pentacles yeah they're all draped in abundance here they all have crowns on their head. Yeah. So keep people away from you that may be trying to sap your abundance away from you as well. Block these individuals off here. That's what this is. Sword. They could be um, visualizing you or trying to manifest uh, you or something like that. Again, people do the darndest things. They say, oh, I want my soulmate or I want someone that really loves me and all these other things. But they're 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 manifesting other people, but they're not manifesting themselves. They're not loving themselves. Uh, again, if their divine counterpart, their soulmate or their twin flame came towards them, they probably wouldn't even be able to recognize that individual or that individual probably wouldn't even be attracted to them or wouldn't be able to recognize them on a the soul level because they haven't done the work. All right, we got encouragement here, encouraging encouraging you to do your best here. We have Knight of Swords actually coming up under the King of Swords. So again, a thought provoker, a motivational speaker. This could be some type of artist, script writer, producer, director, someone that sits behind the camera, a cameraman or something like that, an editor. Um, did I say a motivational speaker or a thought provoker? Uh, air sign, of course, obviously, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They have a good memory, yeah. Oh, did I did did I finish the story about me being in school? See, I'm jumping all over the place. But yeah, um, that teachers would get mad at me for not showing my work or for taking notes. But to be honest with you, taking notes would actually distract me from actually learning, from listening. See, how are you going to look down at your desk and write and take notes and still be trying to look up at the teacher while she's at the whiteboard uh, giving an example? <laughs> like <laughs> we have to find some sort of a balance here uh, again so yeah that was always me even nowadays uh, going from job to job place to place um, coming in contact with new employers uh, associates and employees and things like that business partners they wonder why I don't write down notes as much because that distracts me from the whole process of doing or being you, you don't, you don't want to waste so much time trying to gather knowledge. You want to gather so much inf information to make it perfect before you make a move. No, you edit it as you go. You know, there was not a book on raising children before Adam and Eve started having kids. <laughs> like, right? Like, really? Do you really need to read a book to know how to plant a flower? No, you don't. Get some seeds, go outside into some soil and plant it and water it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, King of Pentacles, someone's a gardener or someone's uh, cultivating or harvesting something. Again, a business owner, a, C a CEO, the, um, maintenance here is what I'm getting. Last message, Six of Cups. So we have synchronicities here. So for me, the Six of Cups equals or symbolizes spiritual flirtation. So you could have a romantic partner coming towards you. Again, people are seeing you as very uh, abundant. Um, you may be uh, physically appealing, you may be mentally attractive, sapiosexual, 
You could be looked at as very abundant. Maybe you have good style. They're looking at your earthly appearance. Again, draped in garments. King of Pentacles, he can afford whatever he wants. Empress energy, the vibe that you give off. You could give off very relaxing energy. But yeah, Six of Cups, someone wants to gift you something, an opportunity. Could be a new job, could be a romantic offer, could just simply be a gift, an appreciation of some sorts, a thank you gift. So we get 66, 666, six, six. six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and Six of Cups. So people are definitely enamored with you. They're wanting to travel towards you. If you try to run, they're going to run after you here. 666, <laughs> six, six. they're going to run after you because we have a nine here, which is actually another six here. So we have people or followers. This, is, this could be you being defensive or protective of your energy. And all of these wands here, followers coming behind you. <laughs> they want your attention so much that they're willing to pay for it here. Knight of uh, Pentacles. But again, you could be seen as some sort of teacher or something like that. Very anointed individual here. So Major Arcana, actually, let's see what we're seeing. 666 is about surrendering. It's about self-love. It's about... Um, People will say, oh, it's the devil. Well, don't you need uh, earthly knowledge? <laughs> like, the devil loved music. The devil loved beauty. The devil loved sex. You wouldn't even be here without sex. Like, again, when was the last time you, re you read the Bible? Hopefully, you've upgraded your knowledge. Now, go and read the Bible again and see if you can um, learn something new about yourself or what's being hidden in the Bible. Um... Uh, well, I mean, we just have a lot of kings here. We have the king of pentacles and the king of swords. So you know how to talk and you know how to get money. 666, again, surrendering to the process of self-love and evolution here. Don't be shy. Um, yeah, the only major arcana to come up here is the empress card. So this is you standing out. St standing out like a sore thumb. Um, but positivity and as i said that we have the sun coming out in abundance very bright energy here so that's what i have for you guys today uh today the collective reading for you guys all we had a break deck message uh coming in showing how abundant you are okay so that was the other major arcana that showed up in the reading the hierophant so you have great potential very uh you have a uh, spiritual insight or you have um earthly know-how about something you're you're disciplined about something but hopefully you like the reading uh come back for more again don't forget to drop your big three down in the bottom so i know you guys a state of mind who i'm talking to what the collective is into like share subscribe add value to the channel catch you guys on the next one peace